welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have this week's marketplace haul and by marketplace haul i mean thrift stores i mean flea markets and i might mean secondhand auction finds i have a really good variety this week it, none of thing here costs me a lot um the entire purpose of these videos is to just show that if you are very patient and um and go to the flea markets, watch the sites. You can pick up very popular toys and vintage toys for a lot less than what you would pay to A, a secondhand dealer, or B, buying brand new. So if you're on your pocket money, kids, you can find them. It just gotta be patient and gotta keep those eyes peeled. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna go through of what I found this week I found a stack load of num nums, not from one seller, but two different flea market stalls over the, I think it was a week and a half. There was two different markets I went to. Yeah, so half and half are from different sellers, but each num num cost me only 50 cents each. Now that's 50 cents New Zealand, which is 35 cents US. So num nums are so popular. But in New Zealand, they can be very, very costly, especially for a kid with their pocket money. To buy one of the Num Num 4-packs is generally $20. All the blind bags are $6 each. So I have a bunch of Num Nums here that I paid $0.50 cents each for. I'm going to bring them up one by one. I'm just going to flash through them as there is a lot of them and just do a little twirly. Um, some of these will be double ups for me, some will not. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got this little one here. She's got a little pen mark on the top, but other than that, she's in great colours. I'm pretty sure I have this one already though, but still, very, very cute. I don't think I have any of the Sushi Num Noms, so finding the Sushi Num Noms, I was so excited. Um, it was, uh, the seller was a gentleman with his daughter, and she just decided that she didn't like them anymore, and she was going to get rid of them. Good for me. Gorgeous little sushi num num. We have a go go, and it still go goes. Here is a gorgeous num num stamp. Looks like a juju juby lolly, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Another go go. Let's see. It Oh wow, this one's battery is really strong. <laughs> the other one was shaking a little bit. This one, this one's rearing to go. Can she compete with red one? Yes. Oh, these are great. Wasabi a go go. This is so cool. This is one of the ones my son has actually been looking for. Pretty sure we don't have them yet. Another sushi for the collection. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have most of these translucent ones in this set. We were missing one from a previous marketplace haul we got. I think it might be the orange one. I'm not too certain, but I'll certainly find out soon enough. Aren't they gorgeous? Triple colored translucent one. 100% know that we have this one. So cute. And this little, this one is definitely a new one. I know we don't have this doggy ed one. Alright, look at this face. Not sure if we have this one, but it is so cute. This one is a double up for us. This one will be passed on through the donation pile. And the same with this gorgeous little popcorn one. Looks like a lemon meringue pie. Oh, I just smelt this one coming through. And man, it smells like toasted marshmallow. They're so delicious. If you get a container and stuff it full of num nums, come back in a day and sniff the container. <laughs> it's so yum. <laughs> Pretty sure this mint chocolate one is a new one for us. Isn't it adorable? Another pink cone one. 
I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Um, I have my collection in set up in actual behind my curtain in the background behind me. I'm pretty sure I need this one, so I'm really excited because I love the chips and the hamburger ones. Another little gorgeous one for the donation pile. I know someone who collects num nums, so they'll be passed on. Double pancakes? What does it mean? I'm not sure what she is. She looks like cookie dough with sprinkles on. <laughs> Cute. And another cookie dough looking one. Maybe they are cookies with sprinkles on. Pretty sure we don't have it. Chucky icing. Okay, this one looks like a macaroon. I'm thinking the, most of these are series two. Maybe a toffee apple? Maybe? Another little macaroon to go with the other pink one. I might be wrong when I'm saying these things. I'll I'll put I'll try and identify them in the film <laughs> and put down what they actually are. But um, I'm just guessing. It's fun to guess, and it, it breaks the boredom of it being silent. <laughs> okay, so this is like the chalky one. It's got two layers, like a lemony one, lemony cat. It looks like a custard filled with cream. Oh my goodness, it's so delicious. Mmm, smells good too, strawberry. Okay, we have another popcorn one. I knew there was another sushi one in there. I kept on trying to find it when I was first bringing up the sushis and I couldn't find it, but here is the little puppy sushi. <laughs> the one that was evading me. A tomato or a chili? I don't know, I'm thinking it's a chili because it's going eh. I love tomatoes, so I don't go eh, when I see tomatoes. When I go chilies, I kind of go eh, especially if they're hot. <laughs> Pretty sure this one is a double up for us and bound for the donation pile. Little candy wrapper one. So cute. So this is one of the dirtier ones I've seen. Um, th most of them look like they've hardly been touched, but this one's a bit dirty. She needs a scrub. Okay. And last but not least, this gorgeous little girl here with popsicle sticks as her ears and little bows. How cute is that? Whoop! Whoops! Almost forgot this one. It looks like a wrap or a taco with all the fillings in. It's wrapped around here. This one was hiding off to the side thinking she could get away with it, but I found her. Very, very cute. Okay, so again, all the num noms were 50 cents each, two different sellers, two different days. Just be patient and you can increase your collection and help others as I, you know, so I know someone who collects num noms and I'm going to pass them on. <laughs> 50 cents, I don't care. Okay, so we've done those. Uh, Shopkins or Lol Dolls? Shopkins or Lol Dolls? No, I actually think I'm going to go for something again. 50 cents New Zealand, 35 cents uh, US that I got on an auction win. I'm going to bring it up now. Yes, we got in an auction win a fingerling for 50 cents. <laughs> I know when these came out at Christmas, they were all the rage. So many kids. I, I This is the monkey one. I, the unicorn, I think, was the popular one with all the girls. I know that my daughter brought up with me several times that um, her friends had fingerlings and she didn't. And I tried to say, well, we, we get, uh, you got other things, you know, you got a whole bunch of other stuff. I am really happy I didn't now because the gentleman who sold uh, me this said that he brought it for his kid. They played with it once for maybe five minutes and never touched it again. So... 50 cents, I don't mind if my children pay with it for five minutes and never touch it again, but I I don't know, maybe they will actually take to it. And if you're a subscriber of mine, you'll know that my, my daughter's mad about Furbies. She loves her Furbies. She plays on the apps with them. She makes them talk to each other. She looks after them. She has a, a pretty reasonable collection of Furbies. I don't know if it works. That could be the one thing that because I got it from an auction find, you know, if I go to the markets, I have batteries and I test my products. I don't know if this works. It might be a 50 cent dud. <laughs> so I'm trying this with you. Here we go. Does it turn on? Oh, 
I, I guess that's what. Oh. Oh my goodness. Let me get back. Let me get it back in focus here. Is this what it's meant to do? Just kind of. I think you meant to pet it and stuff, eh? <laughs> Does it have centers on back? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take it off my finger because it's really awkward. If I'm Okay, does it do other things? Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. Hello? Does it do other things, kids? I actually didn't review fingerlings. Um, oh! Is that where its sensor is in its head? <laughs> I think it's got a sensor in their head. As I said, I, I didn't buy these brand new, so I don't know where the sensors are, but it seems to have something there. Well, that's kind of cute. And uh, yeah, my 50 cents turned out to be a 20 to $25 toy. It's been played with for five minutes beforehand. Awesome. Well, my daughter Astra will be excited, but I'm just going to turn little monkey off with an... Oh, oh God. <laughs> so yeah. Again, just be patient and watch. If you didn't get one, looks like they're coming on the markets now. Okay, I almost forgot these two little lovelies here. I am actually uh, in working on a vintage collection of Care Bears, uh, 1980s to date. Uh, look for that video in the future if you like toy histories. I got these two little Care Bears for 50 cents each. These are very, very cute. They're new ones, um, but I think it's Cheer Bear? Is it Cheer Bear? And Friendship Bear? <laughs> I've just been writing a big history on them and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't remember <laughs> which ones they are. Uh, Tender Heart was my bear from the 1980s. I loved them and these are gorgeous little pieces. We'll do the large Shopkins. Now the large Shopkins, um, apart from the dresser and the cooker, are uh, McDonald's Happy Place pieces and they're wonderful for a dollhouse. I'm going to bring up the sofa first. So here we have a large Happy Place chair and footrest. As you can see they're much larger than the Happy Place dolls. Um, these were for McDonald's and I'm actually really surprised at the quality. I've given away before, um, I think I gave one of my followers, uh, one of my subscribers, I gave her an entire set of the previous McDonald's New Zealand exclusive uh, Shopkins. So, but I did not go for the Happy Place ones, mostly because I was on business at the time and I wasn't able to do it. So I'm really excited to grab some of these for our own set. Really, really cute and perfect size for a little dollhouse. Now I've got this one before, this little teddy bear bedside table, but generally you have two bedside tables, so I don't mind that. But this little teddy bear mirror, I'm pretty sure I didn't get. So that's a really cute one to sit on the bedside table for when Dolly wants to do her makeup and freshen up for the day. Very cute. Okay, I'm not too sure about this little guy. He is a tent, but I don't know... Uh, Happy Place dolls will probably fit in him, actually, but uh, judging the size of the, you know, the sofa and the bedside, whatever fits on those isn't going to fit into this very well. <laughs> Unless it has its head sticking out or its legs sticking out. I kind of grabbed him more because we don't have him and we need him for our set more than I... Uh, I'm not sure of the dimensions of this guy. Poor little fella. Dun dun. And we have a little kitty cat table. Very cute. Love the ta little tail at the back. So cute. So yeah, these are for bigger dolls. Okay, so next I have this dressing table. One which came with these smaller figurines in a set. We actually didn't get this set. It was around this time that Shopkins started kind of pumping out the sets quite a bit and we felt that the uniqueness of Shopkins was uh, basically being thrown at us and it actually put my son off Shopkins for a short while and they went really really well they are marketed to girl to girls a lot of the sets were marketed to girls and um, so we did not get this one but for 50 cents I picked it up it needs a clean right here you can see there's a dirty mark going across it but that's nothing that a little acetone isn't going to fix next I picked up this guy for 50 cents he, ha he doesn't come with his silver tray here we definitely have this one um, 
this was actually one of my son's favorite sets they brought out was the McDonald's Shopkins set. <laughs> He loves the McDonald's, he loved Shopkins, and this was on our to-get list. In fact, we got it as soon as it was brand new. Our, um, as I said, we have it. It'll be passed on through the donation pile. Okay, so down here I brought up the LOL dolls. The uh, first one I'm going to bring up doesn't have a body. This little, this little kitty cat has seen better days. Um, I picked this up for 50 cents because it was, I want to have a custom LOL doll for my daughter. And I thought this would was a cheap way of getting a LOL pet head and giving her a try. Very cute. We'll see what she comes up with. And next we have this one. We, oh. Oh my goodness, her pants are falling down at the back. <laughs> I'll just put my finger there. So again, I brought this one, picked this one out of the lot that was there. There was a bunch there for 50 cents. I didn't get them all. Uh, she has awesome hair and I love her skin tone. Very natural and I want to make a special custom for my daughter. Um, so I picked this one mostly because I love this hair shape uh she had some of the clothes a lot of them were nude she had some of her clothes on and i just thought she was the nicest skin tone to match with my daughter so she's going to turn into a custom so coconut cutie hair uh, again i picked her up because she had some of her clothes on not all of them obviously and if i'm going to be customizing a doll my daughter would love to customize a doll with me so we chose this one for her skin tone for her to do because she's got a nice beautiful tan skin tone there and gorgeous little braids through her hair it'll be fun well I'll, if i try and customize i'll try and get on video i don't get all my customs on video but i'll try and remember okay so we've got a bunch of lol little sisters here um, this one has a, uh, just a couple of dirty marks on her leg, which I'm going to clean up. Um, these I grabbed for someone I know who is very much into the LOL doll soon and doesn't have a lot of them because they are quite expensive in New Zealand. So she may have some of these I bring up. She may not have, but this one here. So I won't be customizing these little babies. Isn't that cute? I love the ones with little hair curlers in. I don't know why. I think it's the um, the morning look on them. They're just like, ah, oh, mama, I just woke up. Let me go, please. I want to go back to sleep. So here's a little color change baby who's half changed color, probably because it's so cold at the moment because it's winter time. I think this one is, oh my goodness. Uh, his big sister's one of my favorites. I am having an absolute terrible time remembering <laughs> It's a toys at the moment, but again, I already have her, so I'm just going to pass her on to a friend whose daughter would absolutely love her, I know. So probably the cream of the crop uh, find was Little Punk Boy here. We have Little Punk Boy, we have Big Punk Boy. Um, very, very sought after these boys, I know, because I'm in a few of the LOL groups, and there's just mothers just looking for them. <laughs> He is so cute. I really love that they brought out a boy into the LOL dolls. It caused a bit of a frenzy with everybody trying to get him first. But look, I picked him up for 50 cents at the market. 35 cents American. So this is one of the LOL pets. It is the flocked bunny with the sparkly pink hair. Obviously its nose has seen better days. Just bring that up. Whoever's had it, maybe they were trying to feed it too roughly and all the flocking around the nose and mouth has come off. I'll see. So I wasn't actually going to pick her up for 50 cents. I was going to leave her there. But um, I think I may be able to restore that. And since this is one of the sought after ones, I thought I'd give it a go. It doesn't really matter. We already have her and I'll pass her on anyway. If it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, on to the fluffy puppies at the background. Um, if you don't know what they are, they're a Disney toy. They're now vintage that came out. These are really, really cute shaggy dogs that are now looked after, uh, now looked for by vintage toy collectors and um, people who just want a reminiscent of their childhood. My best friend told, I asked my best friend um, 
what is something that his sister is looking for because I know she collects vintage toys and he said she was after floppy puppy fluffy fluffy puppies that actually is really hard for me to say with my accent fluffy puppies fluffy puppy <laughs> So I went on to a New Zealand trade site and it had two, a picture of two floppy puppies for $6 New Zealand. So uh, as I said, it's a dollar to 70 cents uh, American. So that's around the later $3 range. He looked at the picture. I looked at the picture. I thought it was two of the smaller floppy puppies. When they arrived, it was one of the bigger ones <laughs> and one of the smaller ones. <laughs> so it was kind of a bonus. And then I was quite worried as he had told me that she was quite fussy on her toys. She likes mint condition. She is the real vintage collector. These are really good condition. So here is the multicolored baby one. They have Velcro tongues to hold toys and accessories that came with them. The eyes are gorgeous. The fur is just so clean and even the wool doesn't, you'd think after years the wool would be quite shaggy on the ends. Kind of like Cabbage Patch Go if you know the vintage Cabbage Patches. Sometimes you need to give them a bit of a snippity snip. But no, there is so little restoration work needed on it. It is like she said basically it looks like it's been sitting in a cupboard and it's got its little booties and the fluffy puppy sign underneath is very very clean on top of the tag is not faded at all and not damaged so I was it, it was like it was meant to be and I was so happy because my best friend helps me out so much with my toys um Okay, so as you can see, this is the larger fluffy puppy. It's got its gorgeous little dog tag to the side here. Now someone did write their name, Fluffy, I belong to Sue underneath, 1986. Um, I don't even, it looks like it might be written in pencil, so she may be able to take that out. But again, the white part, which usually is the part that goes manky from kids' hands and people touching it, is very clean and I've even washed my hands before touching this <laughs> I know I, I'm a bit paranoid that she's gonna get dirty um we'll just get that fur off her tongue please don't ruin but again the wool is in really good quality the dog itself is very very clean and there is her kenna tag right there and underneath is the fluffy puppies bone. I have seen fluffy puppies where the sign, someone's put it, for lord knows what reason, put it into the washing machine and these signs just got ripped to shreds. So again, very, very clean. Uh, just a bit of a surface wash, I think, and she will be pristine. But yeah, so I paid $6 New Zealand for the two beautiful fluffy puppies very very good deal for vintage toys and I try and my daughter and son actually look for vintage toys because they know that in the long term these things gain value okay so this has been my marketplace haul for this week um I got a lot of good deals everything down here 50 cents only the dogs were six dollars so if we look at say maybe four dollars and two dollars fantastic buying it's the winter months i swear everybody just wants to get rid of everything in the winter months for super duper cheap <laughs> i would have paid a dollar each for the num nums <laughs> but hey i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that when they offer them at 50 cents each let me know in the comments below what was your favorite find uh my favorite find this week let's do a scan over and have a look <clears throat> Okay, so I love that I found these floppy puppies for six dollars for my um, my best friend's sister. Oh my goodness gracious me! Um, definitely some of the finds that stand out to me were these sushi num noms. Love the sushi num noms; they're gorgeous. Uh, little punk boy over here, another great find. I already have him though, so he's getting passed on. Uh, the fingerlings was a great find. I mean, for fifty cents for a little fingerlings that. It's not been played with. How can you complain? Okay, 
I am going to go with the fingerlings for 50 cents. Mostly because my daughter was begging me for one until she got to the stage where she's been dropping so many hints every time we go past them. To find one and save yourself 20 bucks is just, you can't complain as a parent. <laughs> Where, when I wasn't so much into the fingerling products, uh, I just think, you know, buy a Furby <laughs> and, and you'll get a lot more play out of it. But hey, really good finds this week. I think the winter months just makes everybody just want to get rid of everything super fast for super cheap so they can go home. And those of us who love to walk through the rain and mud and all that other stuff, end up better off for it. <laughs> if you love Marketplace haul videos, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share and I will always try and share my Marketplace finds with you. I'm even going to try um, sometime this summer, not during the winter because it's so wet and rainy and muddy, um, and take you on a little tour of a New Zealand market. You'll see they're a lot smaller than the American ones, but hey, sometimes it's more about quality than quantity. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.